clean funnel there. Easily gets his queen to step in there. Goes invisible, but he accidentally makes the king invisible too. Come on, queen. Where you, what did, oh, no! <laughs> what is this queen doing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The invisibility spell just screwed him so hard. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. He doesn't even have a safe two star here. The queen can't reach the town hall. Can he still pull this back for a triple though? If he can, that'd be crazy. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash with Eric. Yesterday, we saw the queen walkers with a perfect war where RTK got 14 stars, barely missing their perfect war by 15% on one attack. Now, as we go into today, in this best of two grand finals match for the LIGO International Cup, we'll see if RTK can make the comeback or if Queen Walkers are gonna sweep the whole tournament. Stadra is live, here we go. Guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the like button, and of course, don't forget to use code Eric and let's see if Stodger can get it done here with a super witch attack. Starting off with a Warden Walk. Warden Walk is going to work on the outside of the base there to clear all the exterior buildings next to the lightning, but not wasting any time. As soon as he clears just enough to make sure that the witches will go in the direction that he wants them to go. Then he starts in, pulls the Warden into the funnel and it can work his way towards the town hall. He's got three super wall breakers here and he can use them to give him access into the base and save spells so we can have more freezes and a rage for the back side of the base. He even has a jump and he can use that jump as he goes past the town hall. We'll see exactly where he decides to do he wants to use it. But well, looking like uh, the funnel is pretty solid here. A lot of his troops will push forward to engage the enemy queen. He's got the CC coming out. Super minions and headhunters out of the CC. He'll freeze that up. And he will... Poison? Did he not bring a poison? There is no poison. Okay, no poison on this one. The Super Wall Breakers open up access to the Town Hall from its flank. And they quickly drop it there with the Rage. One Super Witch has split off from the group. Hopefully he doesn't drag the healers off. But he will throw down the RC. And he has the, uh, the big boy out there as well. A Valkyrie down behind for cleanup. And that Super Witch is not going to waste over there. It's going to provide some taking for the Royal Champion. And look at that. The Ice Golem is actually going to survive for quite a while out there. Valkyrie got on the cleanup on the outside. He did not get that single Inferno at the bottom. And that is going to potentially cause some problems as he still doesn't have access. Or he's not getting the path thing, I mean, to get the single Inferno yet. Or into the uh, scatter shot here. He has one more freeze. The RC is still working around. The RC can really clean up most of the base here on her own with all this uh, this uh, scattered tanking that he has around the base. But he still has the push going on to get into the single Inferno. He'll save the witch there with the warden and get the single down. The RC pops her ability and all the defenses go down and Stadra opening up round two of the Legal International Cup Grand Finals with a triple. Now remember guys, the scores from the previous war are going to add to this one. So if we go into their battle log here and we can see that the previous war ended at a 15-14 with a 15% on a single attack left on the board here from RTK. So these scores will carry forward stars and percentage and they'll be added to the score of this match today. And we will see which team ultimately is our victor. Jason. It is live from RTK. Coming in with a Queen Charge Hybrid. Starting right into a Tessa farm, but he does get the Wall Break. He sent the Wall Breaker in to die against the walls, even though the wall was open, so that he could uh, get his Queen to be able to step through those walls more easily. And he can go right into this Multi Inferno. There is a Double Ground Expo and the Ward Statue on the other side. He's going to be engaging all of them simultaneously. While he's fighting the king, this is a very, very difficult area. He's going to have to burn some spells here to work his way through it. He'll rage up the queen again. She needs to get topped off, and she's taking heavy, heavy fire. He's going to have to go to ability. He has to... Oh, lose the head on her. Gets the warden statue down. Gets the king down. Still under heavy fire here. He's not out of the woods yet. He looks again targeted by the archer tower. The queen's veering off a little bit. She needs to get an expo down. Rages up, and this is his last rage, guys. 
He took out a lot of defenses in this area, but he used up a lot of his resources to do so. He has not pulled the CC, and he will not pull the CC with the Queen. Going for a double super wall break here. That's going to open up access to the scatter shot and continue this queen along all the way to the enemy queen. He'll have to use a freeze to protect his queen. He needs to start the king to distract the eagle artillery to get off of the queen. There's the freeze. Not getting on the queen though. The might as well provide her some protection and the queen will survive and she'll work her way towards that eagle artillery and into the core of the base. Now, what is he going to do with the CC troops here? Keep a close eye on it. Headhunters are out. They're going to the RC. Poisons them up. Queen will fight the Hound. Does RC survive it? She does. She's at half health, but she survived it. Honest push into the Town Hall. King still working on the outside. Pekka stepping into the Town Hall compartment. Going to clap some miners into the Town Hall. Ward ability is active. The Queen clean up pups. He's got archers down behind. They can help clean up the pups a little bit faster. He's going to take the Town Hall blast. Nothing can do about it. A lot of the hogs are going to go out of there with low health. Can he still get it? Scatter shot. Look at the scatter shot. The still scatter shot on the base, guys. I don't think it's going to go through. He still has a lot of defenses to work through. And Jason from RTK is going to open this one up with a fail. And this is going to put the Queen Walkers at a two star advantage in the overall rankings and one star up on this war. And is going to put them in a very, very strong position. They're going to need, or RTK is going to need the Queen Walkers to fail twice if they want to pull ahead here in this Grand Finals best of two match. Queen will uh, walk into single Inferno. She's not going to be much longer for this world. She will, however, rack up some decent percentage here, almost climbing them into the 90s. And uh, the war is going to attack a wall. Yeah, the single Inferno is going to defend it all. All right, there we go. 88% is the final. Queen Walker's up. He took the Town Hall Blast. That was the biggest thing. If he didn't take the Town Hall Blast, he might have been able to pull it off. But Gaku is live. Gaku's been loving a Queen Charge Hybrid. And he's changing it up for this one. Coming in with a P.E.K.K.A. Smash with Super Wizards and Witches. And his Queen right into this enemy Warden. The single Inferno right behind it. So he needs to be very, very careful. Rage is up. And the Queen's going to walk right in there. He funneled to push her in. Freezes it up. All right. That works. <laughs> Clean funnel there. Easily gets the queen to step in there. Goes invisible, but he accidentally makes the king invisible too. Come on, queen. Where you, what did, oh, no. <laughs> what is this queen doing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The invisibility spell just screwed him so hard. The queen locked onto the hound and started wandering off. Can he get the air defense down? He's freezing to try to protect his healers. Come on, Queen. Take the shot. Take the shot. Kill the air defense. Don't lose too many healers. All right, he's got it. He's got the range. He's getting topped off. He's pulling it back. Can he pull all the way back? He pops the warden to save the queen. She already used her ability. And he's taking eagle strikes there. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. He doesn't even have a safe two-star here. The queen can't reach the town hall. The Pekka's, no, he's got the blimp. He switches out to a blimp, and the blimp will snipe the town hall off. Okay. He can work with that. Can he still pull this back for a triple, though? If he can, that'd be crazy. He's got the super wizards in there attacking the uh, scatter shot, also getting some damage out of the town hall. He sends the RC into the middle. The witches working with the Pekkas and the king to provide some protection on that side lots of firepower there from the super wizards he's got a lot of tanking out there some of those Pekkas are still at full health and the rc will pick up the slack there where the queen left off she'll push her way to the bottom corner here she'll have to pop her ability but she has the healers now and he gets to that single if he gets to that single he still got the triple no I'm making it through. Single stay standing, but the healers transfer over. This healer's going all over the place. One healer remains. And he's uh, he's got 45 seconds. He can still pull this off. Oh my god, can he get this? Sneaky goblins. Go to there to try to get that storage down. Come on, everything stay together here. Everything stay together. He's got the witches. The witches are the biggest thing here. And the sneaky goblins or something he went in there and triggered a giant bomb. Guys. It's a triple. What the hell? 
Kaku! Wow! <laughs> wow! I am baffled that he is still able to pull that off. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Gaku, that was nuts. That was nuts. I don't know how we pulled that back. I'm in shock. All right, is live from RTK. Coming in with a Sui Hero Lalo. He's got skeleton spells here. And he's got a stone slammer. He's gonna go for a small kill squad or really just a Sui Hero. He got the wall breaker to open up the wall so we can get his heroes to step in and go get the eagle and the scatter shot here, but there's a lot of expo fire there. Let's see if he can get as much as he's looking for. Doesn't necessarily have to get the all the way to the expos in the sweeper. But would like to. He'll probably want to send in the RC to break the ring of defenses here. While the king is tanking. He's in a balloon to go snipe out the arch tower. I like that. Here comes the RC from the bottom corner. All right is one of the highest hit rate players in the entire league, only matched by some of these Queen Walkers players. But we'll see. We'll see. RC will, will get the multi-inferno. The Queen, not getting these Expos down. Now, these Expos might create some pathing issues here because he would have liked to have a puncture of the base all the way so that there was only one way he could path into this multi-inferno. And it's just going to broadside the base from the bottom. Interesting approach here with the law, though. Keep an eye on these defenses over here. Distracting balloons and pulling them away from getting access into the Multi-Inferno. But he'll warden, walk through the, or he'll warden ability through the Town Hall. Get knocked back by the Sweeper. Does he get it down in time? No! The balloons just took the Town Hall Blast! He'll freeze up the core of the base. Freeze it again. All these balloons are at very low health. He'll send in a couple of balloons on the backside to go after the wizard tower. We'll get the multi down. Can he still get this? The enemy queen is still standing. No, it's a defense. The enemy RC is standing. The enemy queen is standing. The core will hold. And the expo at the very end with the wizard tower will stay strong. Klaus from the queen walkers with a big defense here. And I mean, queen walkers... All but have this war in their hands now. It's theirs to lose at this point. They could pretty much two star out from here and still take the win on the overall. But there we go, guys. Queen Walkers. In a commanding lead here. Proving that they are the, the highest tier of Clash of Clans players in the world. Alright. 91%. We'll end it. And all right, coming up short. Stars is live. Here we go. Stars coming in with a queen. No, what is this? He's got bats. He's got invisibility. He only has 22 balloons. And he's going to do a little bit, a mini blizzard here just to snipe out the town hall. No, it's not a blizzard. What is it? Is it a yeti blimp? It is a yeti blimp, but he used a hound to make sure it got to the town hall. No rage on it, though. So using some uh, troops there, but not spells. But now he has all of his spells here for the next part of the attack. Okay. Interesting approach here. Using a couple sneaky goblins to go clear the collectors on the outside, waiting for them to die, and he'll... Lure the CC up to the top corner. Did he get a full CC lure here? Or are there still something inside of there? I think there's still something inside of the CC. Keep an eye out. I think he got the headhunters out, but I think there's still another super minion or two in there. Instead of super wall breaker, that'll lure it out and it opens up the wall. Queen's pathing is uh, looking pretty clean here. She should step around to the archer tower and... The baby dragon tanks for her for the single inferno for a second. The ice golem providing tanking after that. The queen's now getting targeted. He'll make her invisible to get the inferno off of her. 
She'll take advantage of that invisibility to also get down the enemy RC. His RC will work her way in. She'll go invisible as well. They're just trading, targeting off on this thing on Inferno back and forth. His RC won't have enough here to get the Eagle Artillery down, but... I don't know, maybe... No, we won't be able to get to that King. That's okay. That's okay. In comes the Lalo. In from the right side. The Queen still has her ability. And she can take down the Grand Expo. Bats come down onto the Scattershot in the middle of the base there. Only an Expo can target them. They're going to spread out from there. And they'll take out a bunch of defenses around the edge of the base. Or around the core of the base, I mean. Does get the Sweeper. And now he's got a stray shot through the base with the Lalo. The Queen ultimately survives. She's getting chased by some Ground Skellies over there. But she will join in the cleanup. They go all the way. He's losing blues fast. He doesn't have a lot left. He's got a freeze. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think he's got it. I think it's a fail here from Stars. It was a cool idea. It was a cool idea for sure. But he's gonna fall short. The Warden will take that Expo. Maybe get a little bit more percentage. He'll climb into the 90s here. And it'll end right there. Stars. What a cool idea for an attack. It just did not pan out for him. So close though. Two arch towers all that is separating the Queen Walkers from a double perfect war. Not quite. Not quite. Tiki is live. Coming in against Yuda. He's got a Pekka Bow Bat. Okay. Doing the Pekka Bow Bat here with jump spells and super wall breakers. He'll wall break open that uh, town hall compartment as soon as he starts his entry. But uh, watch out for traps there. Not a guaranteed wall break there because he could definitely run into spring traps or something that could kill the super wall breaks early. So he's going to have to pass something through there before he sends the super wall breaker to open up the wall. Once he's through, he can definitely go in with the uh, jump onto the Eagle Artillery and open up a huge amount of the base there. And then he can clear it out, thin it out, and get ready for bats to come in afterwards. Big CC pull here. Lots and lots of goblins, followed by a couple of headhunters. He just threw a wizard, so they didn't so the goblins didn't overwhelm his queen and delayed the poison. So that way he still had the poison active when the headhunters came out. Now the Pekka's come down. Hogs out of the siege barracks. I feel like that siege barracks released way earlier than he would have liked. And all those hogs are gonna get roasted out there. They're gonna go to waste. Probably should have delayed that Siege Barracks a bit. The Queen walking! She takes the healers with her. Can he pull a Gaku and pull it back? Into the core of the base there. In the crossfire of the scatter shots without healers. The bullets are getting targeted now. Oh, he's in trouble, guys. He's in a lot of trouble here. Queen still has her ability on the outside of the base. He might just want to start the bats onto the scattershot. This is his only chance. No, he starts him on the edge. He starts him on the edge. Queen goes down. Too much damage. It's a defense. Ah, oh. let's try. Gather will wreck him. One shot, and all the bats are gone. Boom. All right, RTK. They showed up on the first war. They brought in 14 stars. But they're struggling a little bit. A couple small mistakes are costing him this war big. Queen Walker is shutting them down on defense here. GG's. Nice try. Maybe uh, rewind this uh, video and uh, grab a couple screenshots of the bases and uh, build them yourselves. 80% and RTK is on the ropes. All right. Time for Klaus or Yuda to attack. Ladies and gentlemen, Klaus is live. What does he have for us today? A skeleton spell Lalo attack here. Four skeleton spells. One lightning, one invisibility spell, and he's got a Lala with a blimp. What is he going to use all these skeleton spells for? 
he can never do anything normal, right? He always has to do... He, can, he can't just use, like, a cookie-cutter army that everybody can just copy and, and play Klaus, right? They... He always comes in with something weird that we've never seen before. And I don't think I've ever seen anybody try to do a, a kill squad with four skeleton spells. But apparently he's going to go for it. Throws up the enemy queen to get the defenses to transfer off and go to the skeleton spells. But the skeleton spells are tanking everything in the area to allow the uh, heroes to work their way in. To get more value out of them. Even sending in other skeleton spells to push the RC in. Over from the left hand corner, a couple balloons to support. And the Royal Champion will be able to go in here. Go invisible. And get the scatter shot down. She still has her ability. He'll use another skeleton spell. There's her ability. Takes out the sweepers and the Teslas in the middle of the base. Wait, was there a sweeper in there? I think the Queen got the sweeper. More skeleton spells come down to protect the Royal Champion from the single inferno. Does she get that as well? Yes, she does. On the final strike, the Royal Champion takes the Inferno down. And now half the base is gone, guys. Half the base is gone. He can blimp out the Town Hall. What's he got in there? Sneaky Goblins? Yeah, it is. Sneaky Goblins. One Hound goes down to get the blimp in. Another Hound comes out and the Sneaky Goblins land against the wall. So that there's nowhere that they can hit by traps and five will guarantee take it down as long as it makes it to the town hall and now he can work his way into the final scatter shot here we go he's got a warden following on the backside he's gonna have a couple balloons path through the middle but the the raw champion actually cleared out a lot of the trap or a lot of the uh, trap potential in the middle by taking out a bunch of the Teslas. now the balloons won't path over there freezes up the scatter shot there's the warden ability but at this point he can swag the warden guys He's only fighting the clock at this point. Just needs to coast his way through to the finish. There's the last haste. Couple of traps going off in the middle. Not going to slow him down. And Klaus coming in here with a massive... Just, a, what was that? Four skeleton spell kill squad. To pair with his Lalo. That's pretty nuts. That's... You know, normally comes in with weird stuff that we can't replicate in our own attacks. But this one here, using skeleton spells to get more value out of his heroes this is something we can all do but he's not out of the woods yet guys he's still got to finish it on time and all the balloons have clumped up very very poorly and they're not going to the storage i think he can get like look at it every the balloons are just coasting along the outside of the base he's gonna time fail he's gonna time fail here it was a brilliant attack but it's not fast enough 99 percent or Klaus. Would have loved to see a balloon split there at the end. And they kind of got screwed by it. Nice try. Nice try. Still in the lead though. Still massively in the lead. Alright. RTK is live. Here we go. RTK coming in with a queen charge Lalo. They're going to need a miracle if they want to make a comeback here. The chances of them making a comeback is very minimal, but we'll see what he can do here anyways. Coming with a Yeti blimp to go work on this compartment here. Gets a CC pull out of it. Does he get the expo? The sweeper would be nice. Sweeper's not bad value. But he wanted the expo because the expo is going to be targeting the queen as she rounds that whole corner. So keep an eye on that, uh, that expo. I think he got the full CC pull. Yeah, just lots of headhunters came out of there. Tons of headhunters. Had to freeze them. Didn't really have a choice there. If he didn't freeze them, they would have killed his queen on the first shot, even with the poison. When you have five or six headhunters hit him even once, a lot of firepower. All right, keep it on this expo. Queen actually stepped into the wall. Does she stay in? We will stay in. And he opens up the next one down the line. All right. He's... He's handling it well. <coughs> okay. Headhunter comes down to help him get through the enemy king. Nice and clean so far, but it is uh, a little bit slow. Feels a little bit slow. He's going to be pushing the time. He sends in another headhunter with the uh, queen. Wasn't really necessary. Didn't really do anything. 
One more in with the king to get the enemy Roar Champion down. Pops his ability to take the town hall. And here we go. Super wall break the queen to get even further in the base there. Look at that wall break. That was a really, really cool spot to put a wall breaker in. Now the queen will circle around in the bomb tower compartment and she'll kind of keep her distance from the single inferno. Let's see if it locks onto her or if he'll start the Lalo to go pick it off. He's starting the Lalo in from the top of the base. Now the queen is going to have to fight that single inferno. He'll rage her up and he'll freeze it. But how long can she sit there and and dance with this inferno before she needs to go after it she'll lap she'll wrap around here she's going to it right now she will get it down there before it can charge up again and she will continue on looking good here rages up as he goes to the core warden is all the uh, traps are going out tons of red bombs there perfect timing for the warden catches a crazy amount of traps there and holding from the scatter shot but now all of his balloons are are grouped up as he goes to the scatter they're all going to be taking the hit if they get inside the minimum range, Rage is up and they get inside of the minimum range. They'll take it down. The RC swing on that side. She has her ability. She can pop it to take out all the Teslas. And he's got the three star on the board here. Plenty of time to finish it off. And RTK not going down without a fight. They're going down swinging with a three star with the Queen Charge Lalo. Beautiful, beautiful attack there. The only path to victory for RTK to win this war is Queen Walkers get less than 70% on this attack. If they get a less than 70% and a one star, then it opens up RTK to make a comeback and win the entire series. Yuda starting us off with a blimp, a Yeti blimp here to just grab out the single inferno and the scatter shot. He gets the CC pull out of it. And they'll use that as a funneling point for the Queen Walk to start in from the corner. Poisons up the headhunters. Nice uh, low damage area here. Just chill. He will fight the king. If he was fighting the warden on the other side, then he would have potentially had to use some spells to give him some extra support. But on the uh, king side, he can just use a headhunter to get through the king. Or he can just uh, ride off the rage that he already has down. He needs to collapse in that corner a little bit. A little bit of time. He put something into the mortar here to collapse in. Since it is a super wall breaker. The super wall breaker does not open up the wall that he's looking for there. The king will step in. He will find a Tesla farm. Does this Tesla farm throw off the queen's pathing here? That would be the question. The queen is hugging the walls there pretty tight. She might actually step in and go to the storage. No, she goes to the outside. That wall break is screwing him so hard. King will pop his ability to try to force her into the eagle, and she turns back, but the king steals the healers. Drags him into the air defense, and the switches back. He sends it to the RC. The RC will pop her ability to get the air defense down, save the healers, and he'll continue the queen charge. Made some big adjustments there. He loses his RC because of it. He'll send the super wall breaker and try to get the king to go in there, but that's not really going to do much. One more super wall breaker goes into the core of the base and gives him access to the queen. He still has his queen ability, guys. Where is this queen going to go? She's stepping into a double ground expo and a scatter shot. She'll pop her ability. She rounds the corner into the enemy queen. She'll take her down and she can survive from here. Not a lot of damage where she's at right now. Nope, just kidding. She picks up the double ground expo. She's still in trouble. May need to freeze those to save her. He really needs her to take out that, that inferno. 50 seconds. This has been a roller coaster of an attack so far, but the queen does ultimately go down. He needs to climb to a 70% two star to get the win. 72% or 71% will lock in the win for the queen walkers. And he's climbing. He's on his way all the way to the finish. 67, 68. 69 and the queen walkers have locked in the win they will be your lego international cup grand finals champions this was a messy attack they'll go out on a fail but they will be the winners of the entire tournament taking out all the pro teams all the way through you know get out of it with a 79 percent but we're not done yet. We're still going to go in here and see RTK. Mathematically, they cannot 
finish it. Even with a triple, they will be behind on percentage. And the Queen Walkers coming in at 12 stars. We even said at the start of the war that if the Queen Walkers failed after their uh, first two attacks went in for triples, if they failed the rest of their attacks and RTK tripled the rest of their attacks, they could have made the comeback. However, RTK had the opportunity and they weren't able to capitalize on it. 12 stars for the Queen Walkers. Let's see what happens with RTK. Here we go. The final attack. Just for the feels. Just going in here and trying to get the triple. They can no longer win it. Queen Walkers have locked in the win and made it impossible for RTK to come back. But we will see if they can get in here and triple Gaku. Did he get the damage on the queen there? Was he aiming at the queen? Might have been. If he was, he missed her. But he takes out the core of the base. And he'll set up for a kill squad with a log launcher. The king should find out those, uh, those grand skellies and work his way towards the eagle artillery. I don't think he could take the eagle with the uh, royal champion right there. But he will send in a golem to help reinforce. And he's got a little bit of a funnel for the queen. She should be able to take out that uh, wizard tower and then step in to follow the log launcher. So looking good. Looking good. Nice funnel. Log launcher is uh, pushing those logs deeper in the base there. And they're not going to have a chance to kill the... Look how short those... Did you see how li little travel those logs were getting there? I swear that their, their travel distance is random. And all of them were very, very short travel distance. So we uh, didn't get a ton of value out of the log launcher. Does it vary? Does the log launcher's uh, log distance vary from every single log thrown? Or am I just losing my mind right there? The queen does take down the enemy queen. The Royal Champion does grab out the Multi-Inferno. And his queen will use her ability and carry all the way over to the expo, not quite getting it down. But here comes the Lalo in through the town hall. He has it activated from the log launcher. Even though he doesn't have the percentage yet. He has the activation. Because of the logs. And now he can work his way through. Hit the tornado trap there. Luckily he got the town hall down. Then hit the tornado. He's got a nice separation on the balloons here. He's got just enough force from every pack. To one shot the abilities that they're going to. But not enough that they're all going to go down heavily to traps and wizard towers. He's got one more freeze. He's got a haste. And it's looking like he's going to close it out with the triple. RTK does not go down without a fight. They fight to the last breath. And he lands a triple to close out the Lego International Cup. Man, they tied, they tied with the Queen Walkers on this war. They tied. But they needed the win. They needed to take the win by one star to make up for the loss in the previous war. And there we go, guys. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Queen Walker takes the win today. RTK goes down. Relatively low scoring war here on this one compared to our last one. But the Queen Walkers are our LEGO International Cup Grand Finals winner. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more. I got something in my throat. <laughs> and uh, make sure you hit the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one.